Welcome in to Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live. We want to thank you guys for all your support and make sure you go follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Mo8Man Football. There you can find all the information you can need from schedules, standings, stats, and history pertaining to Missouri 8-Man Football dating back to 1988. Now we head live for our 8-Man Game of the Week on Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live with Devin Albertson. And we are live here in St. Joseph, Missouri, 8-Man Football Facebook Live. I am Devin Albertson here from Bishop Ablon High School for a little Saturday afternoon action here in week number 8. You can see here Bishop Ablon on the near side and Greenfield with the roughly three and a half hour trip north here for this Saturday afternoon game here ready to go head to head. Greenfield coming in today two and four wearing the all white uniforms. Bishop Blonde at three and three in the gold helmets and purple uniforms. And again, LeBlanc, their three losses this year are to Schuyler County, Archie, and Plattsburgh all ranked in the top 10 so far this season. As we get ready for the coin toss and the captains meeting at midfield, take a look at our sponsors. Be back with the kickoff coming up next year on Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is sponsored by Brink Sportswear, providing high-quality, sublimated sports uniforms and apparel at a fraction of the price. Contact Coach Logan Foster today at Brink Sportswear on Twitter or Facebook and discover the Brink difference. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by St. Joe Bucks Football. Do you want to continue your football career after high school? St. Joe Bucks Football is an opportunity to give athletes a second chance after high school football. We thrive to better ourselves as athletes and to better our communities. If you are 18 plus and want to continue your playing the sport you love after high school, contact St. Joe Bucks on Facebook or St.JoeBucks at gmail.com. The 2023 Midwest Region Football Championship team included players from Albany, Slater, Southholt, and Stewartsville Osborne. This Missouri 8-Man Football Broadcast is brought to you by Finney Construction in Skidmore, Missouri. Finney Construction is your go-to place to buy, service, and install wood, propane, or natural gas boilers, as well as on-demand water heaters and radiant heating supplies. Give Matt Finney a call today at 816-383-1385 or Visit their website at sunriseheatingboilers.com. And we are back here in St. Joe. LeBlonde will receive the ball first here in this game. Greenfield won, deferred to the second half. So Greenfield will start on defense here in this one. Okay, Greenfield in the all-whites. LeBlonde in the gold and purple. Here, Dana said earlier, kind of the trip for both of these teams to get here so far this season. Greenfield at 2-4, and four, new head coach, uh, Neville for the Wildcats, actually a Pittsburgh State grad. Him and his brother actually both played corner at Pitt State back in the early 2000s, had head-to-head matchups with the Rector brothers there at Northwest uh, back in the day. So kind of be able to talk to him before the game, that was really cool to hear that. And a little onside kick attempt here for Greenfield. It's going to be taken by LeBlanc. It'll be up to the 36-yard line. Trey Ike on the recovery for LeBlanc. And this is going to get out to the Greenfield 36-yard line. First and 10 coming up here for the Eagles. So first and 10 for LeBlanc. And again, they are at the Greenfield 36-yard line. Fake the handoff. Tabor, quick pass to the outside to Seekers. He's got some running room to the 30, to the 25-20, down to the 15, to the 10, the 5, touchdown LeBlanc. First play of the game, a little swing pass out to the flat to Jackson Seekers, and he does the rest, the senior receiver, with a 36-yard touchdown. So nice little pass there, a schemed open play there from Tabor to Segrist for a 36-yard score. 
LeBlanc will go for two here. Tabor under center. Ike at the wing back. Stags behind him. And we have a stoppage here by the official on the far side. Not sure exactly what's going on. Maybe one of the Greenfield kids. Maybe an equipment malfunction or something. Greenfield is seven on the field. And they're going to get another one here running on late. Is on the field here for Greenfield. Two point try, still wing left. Tabor under center. Pitch out, left side, and Staggs walks into the end zone for the two-point conversion. That makes it a LeBlond 8, Greenfield 0 here early on. Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by the Gatlinburg Black Bear Brawl. It's going to take place August 9th through 11th in 2024. They're looking for candidates in Missouri for this meet-in-the-middle concept to play a prestigious 8-Man program from either Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, or South Carolina. Teams are looking for unique out-of-state matchups between well-regarded programs with a strong finish in 2023 and a good outlook for 2024. If a program is selected, they would not pay any fees to participate. All games are streamed through YouTube through 8-Man Extreme, and the National Scouting Report will have a college scout on site. And we're back here in St. Joe, the one-play drive here for LeBlanc for the 36-yard touchdown. Two-point try was good. 8-0 LeBlanc with 11.48 to go here in the first quarter. The Golden Eagles to kick off. And I think we have a flag here for someone who was offsides. They're on the onside kick attempt. And again, I believe it's Luke Hart is the kicker here for LeBlond. Luke Hart, the sophomore for the Golden Eagles. So they're going to mark it back five yards and try the kick again. Again, so 11.48 to go in this first quarter. Ball got teed up here for LeBlond. It's going to be a high kick and be fair caught at the 35-yard line. Nicely done there by Drake Morrison, the freshman for Greenfield. Drake Morrison. So first and 10 at the 35-yard line here for the Wildcats. For the Wildcats. Ball will be in the left hash. Be a shotgun with running backs on each side of the quarterback. Pick it, back to throw, looking deep. Has a man. It's going to be caught at the 30, down to the 25-20, and inside the 15-yard line. Excellent catch there by Nicholas Gossett. And Greenfield has a good big play here to start the game. That was Austin Pickett to Gossett. They're again all the way down to the 13-yard line of LeBlanc. Here, handoff, pick it. Left side, not much running room that time. Uh, looks like Staggs was the first man there for LeBlond. And that was Pickett there. Gain a couple up to the 11-yard line. We'll say second down and about eight coming up here for Greenfield. Again, Greenfield in the all-whites here today. Suns finally came out here ready to kick off. Pretty drizzly here before. Nice open field tackle there as Pickett gains a couple. That's Ike on the stop up to about the eight-yard line. Anderson also there. And they're going to say right down to the seven-yard line, gain of four that time for the Wildcats. Again for Greenfield, they've got two brothers back there, Alex and Austin Pickett. Austin's the quarterback, and Alex is the tailback. They also have Nash McGuire running back here deep. Possible option play. Gets it to McGuire. He makes one man miss. Another one. And gets into the end zone. He powers his way in. Touchdown Greenfield. So Greenfield answers right away. Nash McGuire, he played last year at Lockwood. They moved to Greenfield over the summer. And now he's on the Wildcats. And he gets on the board here for Greenfield on Saturday of Week 8. So that makes it 8-6. to six. LeBlond over Greenfield. 
Wait, there was a penalty on the play. Shot block against Greenfield. So this one's going to be coming back here with as a 15-yard penalty. So they're going to mark this all the way back to the 22-yard line now. Brutal penalty there on the goal line there for Greenfield. Repeat the down. This will bring up third down and 19. I go spread. Two receivers to the left, one to the right. A little option play possible here. Gets it out to McGuire. Left side. Bounces off a couple of defenders and knocks out of bounds like Seacrest, one of the first guys there for LeBlond. As they get down to around the 16, 15 yard line. We'll call it the 16. Gain of six there. Fourth down and 13 coming up here for the Wildcats. Pass into the end zone, incomplete. Looking for Gossett again, this time incomplete. Me a turnover on downs. So that penalty was a killer there for Greenfield. Went from a touchdown to a turnover on downs. Just a couple of plays there. So now 9.51 to go in the first quarter. LeBlanc will take over. First down and 10 from their own 16-yard line. You know, Blonde this year, 3-3 three and three record, beating North Shelby, Knox County, and KC East Christian. Quick little out route here to Winklebauer, a little bit of a low throw, will be incomplete. Bring up second down and 10. So second down and 10 for Mitchell LeBlanc last year. LeBlanc made it all the way to the state championship game before losing to North Andrew. Lost four games last year to Archie, twi Archie North Andrew twice, and to Worth County. The top three teams in the state were the only teams they lost to last year. Here, quick pass out to Stag. Stiffs on the defender. Gets across the 20 up the sideline. Thrown out of bounds there by Greenfield. Looks like Pickett on the stop along with Devin Steely. So nice little swing pass there up to the 24-yard line. Two stags. Gain of seven. This will bring up third down and three for, for the Golden Eagles. Ball on the left hash. One receiver to the left, to the right. Three-man front for Greenfield. Stags in the backfield with Tabor. A little option play. Get out the stags on the outside. Trying to get enough for a first. He does. And gets taken down just short of the 30-yard line. Looks like Gossett there on the stop along with Zachary Boyd there for Greenfield. Up to the 30, gain of seven on the play. Needed three, got seven. First down and 10 here for Bishop LeBlanc. Same formation here for the Golden Eagles. Tabor. Rolling to his right, looking for the flat, and Zachary Boyd knocks it away. Incomplete pass there. I believe he was looking for Stags there in the flat. Excellent play by the defensive end there for Greenfield to get his hands up and knock that ball away. Second down and 10 coming up here for the Eagles. Two receivers right, one to the left. Tabor, back to pass, looking for the go route to Ike on the left side, and incomplete. Couldn't quite bring it in. That's number 31 in coverage that time, Andrew Mays for Greenfield. Tabor won the big play on the sideline to Ike. Couldn't quite connect there. This will bring up third down and 10 for the Golden Eagles after a couple of incomplete passes. Greenfield this year losses to Appleton City, Liberal, Lockwood, and Drexel wins over Jasper and College Heights. Greenfield will end their season next week, taking on Osceola on the road who we saw last night lose by two points to Drexel. 
Here, play action of Stags. Tabor looking. Looking deep for Winklebauer. It's going to be caught at the 20. Down to the 15, to the 10, the 5. Touchdown, LeBlond. The deep post route to Jacob Winklebauer, and he brings it in for the long touchdown of 50 yards. Beautiful boat throw by Tabor. Excellent uh, eye hand eye coordination there by Winklebauer to track that ball and outrun the defense into the end zone for the 50 yard touchdown. That makes it 14 to nothing. LeBlond here. Two point try coming up next year for the Golden Eagles. Eight forty three to go in this first quarter. I formation for the for LeBlond. Tabor, handoff right at the middle, and he's gonna be dropped for a loss. Excellent play there by Zachary Boyd for Greenfield. So two point try is no good for the Golden Eagles. We'll take a timeout with eight forty three to go in the first quarter. Bishop Blonde fourteen, Greenfield zero here in week eight of Missouri Eight Man Football, Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by Cotton Body Shop, LLC. Complete collision repair and restoration at 204 West Georgia Street in Oregon, Missouri. The Cotton Body Shop has served the Oregon community since 1961. Everything from diamond paints, aluminum body repair, unibody and frame repair, and pro spot spot welding. Call Troy Cotton today at 660 660- Four four six two zero zero eight, or check them out online at cottonbodyshopllc.com. And we are back here in St. Joseph, Missouri, Saturday afternoon football in Missouri 8-man as we want to kick off a little onside kick attempt, and it's going to be recovered by Greenfield, I think right at midfield. Excellent job there by Boyd for the Wildcats. Be first and 10 for Greenfield. Right at midfield here, so great field position for the Wildcats at midfield. Greenfield, they are in district number one. LeBlanc, they are in district number five for the playoffs. They go o overload to the right side here of the line. They're going to run it back to the left, though, with Pickett. Pickett working his way through the LeBlanc defense, breaking some tackles. It's going to be a gain of over 10, enough for a first down. Excellent run there by Pickett. Again, that's Alex Pickett. Rocha with the stop there for LeBlanc down to the 29-yard line. It's a gain of 11, though. So that's going to be a first down for Greenfield. Not much going on this one. Pickett keeps it himself. Going to lose the yard back to the 30. Batchel with the stop there for LeBlanc. Lost about a half a yard. Ball's touched in the 30. Again, some scores from earlier in week number eight. We'll get to those in just a second here. After this next play, going to run down through some of the scores through week eight. Some shocking ones. McGuire, handoff left side, spins off one defender, and he'll be stopped just short of the 25 yard line. We'll say player on the 27, gain of three for Nash McGuire. It'll be third down and eight coming up here for Greenfield. Scores from last uh, Thursday, Slater gets their first ever eight-man win with a 46-26 to win over Knox County. Number one, Archie took down Sweet Springs 72 to nothing. Here, Pickett looking deep, looking for McGuire and well overthrown. Wasn't sure that was McGuire or to Pickett. The other Pickett kind of stopped on his route there, so miscommunication on that pass play for Greenfield will bring up fourth down and eight from the 27. So Archie winning 72 nothing now allowing three and a half points per game through eight weeks. They'll play Liberal next week to end out their Wemo schedule in the regular season. Number two, South Holt went on the road and beat Mound City 54 to 26. Number three, Worth County a final at halftime over King City 62 to eight. And number four, Plattsburgh ends Concordia's undefeated season 53 to 13 there in Concordia. Here, Pickett. Rolling to his right, looking for the end zone, looking for Austin Pickett, incomplete, just over his hands there. Good coverage by 
Arbor for LeBlanc. And that'll be a turnover on downs for Greenfield. With 7.08 to go in this first quarter, LeBlanc ball. Here up 14 to nothing. Other scores. Number five, Platte Valley shuts out DeCamp. 60 to nothing. Game over at halftime. Bramer, number six team in the state, winning at Southwest Livingston, 80 to 38. Number seven, Nottoway Valley winning their pink out night at home, 56 to 6 over Stewart's Osborne. Lockwood going at home today last night against number eight, Appleton City, winning 58 to 22. A dominant win there for the Tigers. Might see them in the top 10 next week on Monday when our poll comes out. And we're have a false start here. Seacrest leaving a little bit early for LeBlond. Push it back to the 22-yard line and repeat first down. First and 15 now for LeBlond. Other scores, number nine, Albany was at home. They lost to Pattonsburg at 90-66 to and upset their Pattonsburg, their second win of the year, and their first one since week one versus Rockport. A huge win there for Pattonsburg and a kind of a head-scratching loss for Albany. Here, first and 15 for LeBlanc. Three-man rush for Greenfield. Quick pass to Winklebauer to the outside. Makes one man miss, still going, and gets escorted out of bounds by Pickett across the 30 up near the 34-yard line. Gain of about 12 on the play. This is bring up second down and roughly three coming up here for the Golden Eagles. Keep going here through the scores. Number 10, Skyler County winning at Northland Christian, 62-14. to And one more here, College Heights defeats Jasper, 82-28. to Here, receivers to each side, going to bring Seacrest in motion. A little shovel pass up front. He's got plenty of room to run there on the left side to the 40, to the 30. Can I cut it back up field? A flag comes down near the 35-yard line. Especially when they come back a little bit. Should be a 10 yards from the spot of the foul. So pretty much it's going to be a repeat in the down here because the, ball, the flag is right there at the 36-yard line of Greenfield. So it's pretty much just going to be a repeat to pull down. Holding against LeBlanc. Spot foul, so we're just going to repeat the down. So they're getting that marked off here. We're just going to keep running through the scores. Last night we were in Drexel for a 52-50 win over Osceola with 40 seconds remaining. They got a stop on fourth and one at this eight-yard line to get a turnover on downs and secure the win over Osceola. A fantastic football game last night between Osceola and Drexel. East Atchison, they won the Atchison County Super Bowl over Rockport last night, 36-16 after being tied at eight at halftime. Dominant third quarter there for East Atchison. A little tunnel screen here for LeBlanc, and Ike drops it. This will bring up third down. I think I say this for every LeBlanc broadcast here, but Trey Ike, he's the younger brother of Reggie Love there for LeBlanc, who a couple years ago was their starting running back. Um, led him to a district championship game appearance. Was a really good running back here for LeBlanc. Ike, his younger brother, now a senior. Or just a junior here for LeBlanc. Had a really good season so far. Uh, really good looking athlete there for Bishop LeBlanc. Just couldn't quite hold on to that one. Here, third down and three from the 34. Two receivers right, one to the left. All right, set a screen up to Staggs. Throws it downfield, and flag's coming out because I think all three LeBlanc linemen were about eight yards downfield when that pass was completed. See a couple of flags down the field. Laundry day here in LeBlanc. Yep, an individual player downfield the entire offensive line for LeBlanc. Greenfield, I think it was Boyd, did a great job of sniffing out that screen originally, making it delayed there. So it's going to remain third down here. So we're going to go all the way back to the 29-yard line. Five-yard penalty, repeat the down. Here, quick pass to Ike, and it's going to be incomplete. So the offense is a little disjointed here for the Golden Eagles. Let's see what they do here on fourth and eight from their own 29-yard line. See if they decide to punt it away. I do see Luke Hart coming on the field here for LeBlanc. So it could be the first punt of the game we have so far here on this Saturday afternoon with 5.54 to go in the first quarter.
Lucart in the punt here for Bishop of Blonde. Bobbles the snap. Still loose, and he's got to take off and run for it now. Fumbled again, and it's going to be all the way back, and Greenfield's going to recover it. Doesn't matter. It's going to be a turnover on downs. That's Boyd with recovery for Greenfield. Big loss in the play on the fumbled snap. All the way back to the 23-yard line. Loss of six. It'll be first and ten for Greenfield. Just outside the red zone, inside the 23. McGuire to the left. Alex Pickett to the right of Austin Pickett in the shotgun. Tight ends are Steely and Jones for Greenfield. There you go. Overloaded here. Extra overload. The center is actually eligible right now for Greenfield if they want to throw a pass. There's going to be a run off the left side here over to the overloaded side by Austin Pickett. As they get up to about the 19-yard line. Second down coming up. Second down in about seven. 5.20 to go in this first quarter. 14-0 lead for LeBlanc. Pick it in the shotgun. They're going to shift here, go overloaded. Gossett is eligible here on the right side of the guard. It's going to be a play-action pass. Looking for Gossett. He's going to make the catch to the 10. Down to the 5. Touchdown, Greenfield. No flags this time. Greenfield gets in. A little overbalanced offensive line and becomes the guard eligible for Nick Gossett. And that's a 19-yard touchdown for Greenfield. And Greenfield gets on the board for the first time here today. And 14-6 here, LeBlanc over Greenfield. 5.02 to go in the first quarter. Pick it in the shotgun. Handoff, right side going towards the end zone. He's going to be... They're going to say not in. McGuire close to the goal line again. Just short. Looks like a big stick there by Trey Ike to prevent the two-point conversions. We're going to keep it at 14-6 to six here between LeBlanc and Greenfield on Missouri 8-Man Football. Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by TNS Butcher Shop at 212 57 Monroe Road, 285 in Paris, Missouri. It's the place to go for your meat needs from deer to hogs to sheep to cows. If you need a butcher in Northeast Missouri, give TNS Butcher Shop a call at And we're back here in St. Joe after the short 22-yard drive by Greenfield due to the muffed snap on the punt. 19-yard touchdown pass from Pickett to Gossett. Two-point try was no good there for Greenfield. So it's still 14-6, a one-score game here between the Wildcats and the Golden Eagles. And they're going to onside it here and recovered by Winklebauer. Kick that time after the fake by the initial kicker. So it's going to be first down and 10 here for the Golden Eagles. Right at their own 39-yard line. So first down and 10 here for Bishop Blonde. They're huddled up on the sideline. 5.01 to go in this first quarter, the last game of week number eight here in Missouri 8-Man Football. We get ready next week, the season regular season finale, and in two weeks we have playoffs starting here in Missouri high school football. I formation here for LeBlanc. Handoff, right side to Staggs. He's going to push the pile forward near the 35-yard line. We'll call it by the 36 or 37. Up to the 36 of Greenfield. Let's so bring up second down and five. And you get up to the 31 for a first. And again, our schedule for next week 
We will be in Concordia for a Sweet Spring Concordia game. We'll get to more of the ramifications of that game here after this play. Handoff, Stags, up the middle, plenty of running room, and finally get brought down by Pickett and Gossett across the 25, up near the 23-yard line. Right above the 23-and-a-half. Nice run there by Stags. We'll just call it the 24. First down and 10 coming up here for Bishop Blonde. So, again, Sweet Spring Concordia next week. The winner of that game wins the I-70 division in the, in the Central River League and will most likely be the one seed in districts when they are released on Saturday afternoon after the games are all final. But here, I formation. Pitch out to Ike. Ike trying to get to the outside. Boyd's right there trying to reverse field. Does for a moment, but he's going to pretty much get back to the original line of scrimmage. So ran about 20 yards to gain none. Not much running room. Good job there by Boyd for Greenfield to get the stop. No gain the play. Second down and 10 for the Golden Eagles. So those are plans on Friday. Go to Sweet Springs at Concordia. Greyhounds versus Orioles on Saturday. We're going to have Paris playing College Heights, and that game is actually in Hughesville for a neutral site action there between a team from Joplin and a team from Northeast Missouri. So a very odd matchup, but we're going to see if we can call that game. Tabor looking over the middle, and it's going to be caught by Trey Ike. Heck of a catch there coming back to the ball on double coverage. Pickett and Gossett on him. Down to the 14. That should be enough for a first down. And they might measure it here. We're going to double check. They're saying it's about a half a yard short of the first down there for Ike. So third and about a half a yard. And they're going to be a handoff to Stag. So they'll have enough for a first and then some. He's going to be tackled just short of the 10 yard line. So a nice run there by Staggs down to the 11. So that'll bring up first down and 10 inside the 15-yard line. So they still get a first down before getting to the end zone. So we got 2.20 to go in this first quarter, 14-6 to lead for Bishop of Blount. So again, Saturday, Paris playing College Heights, and that game is in Hughesville. Tabor, back to pass, looking for the wheel route. Then the left sideline for Segrist. Did he get his foot in? No, they're saying just out of bounds there, very close. Excellent effort there by Segrist. Just couldn't quite reel it in inbounds. A little bit led to, a little bit too far to the back of the end zone, but a heck of a throw there by Tabor. So second down and 10 coming up here. Chain still the. Box still says first down, but it is second down. Second and ten. I formation here for the Golden Eagles. Hand off up the middle here. Gets up to about the seven-yard line. That is Helsel with the carry. Pickett McGuire on the stop, down to the seven-yard line, gain of four there for LeBlanc. Third and six coming up here. Minute 40 to go in this first quarter. Third and six from the seven-yard line. Other big games happening next week in East Ashton at South Holt. South Holt wins that. They can secure the outright 275 conference title. Right now they have at least a share of it. A win versus EA can clinch the outright title here. Helso, again, a hard hit there at the four-yard line. Pickett and Boyd. I think Gossett also there on the stop. Down to the four-yard line. Gain of three on the play for LeBlanc. Fourth down and three with 105 to go in this first quarter. See other games here that could be of interest around the state. Platte Valley, Rockport. Platte Valley needs to win that game and a South Holt loss, and they can get a share of the 275 conference title. Worth County's already clinched the outright GRC title with Albany's loss last night. Two receivers right, one to the left. Tabor run the option play with Stag. Stag got a hurdle of defender, and that should be illegal. You cannot do that, in Missouri, in high school football. They're going to let it go, though. Let's see what the official measurement is here. No flag came out.
and they're going to officially measure it here. So we'll just keep it right here while they're going to measure here. They get down to the one. It's close. And they're fiddling with this chains there a little bit. They're looking at a second and a third time. Still looking at it. <laughs> they're still looking at it. And it's going to be a first down. Stag gets it down to the one yard line. First and goal for now for Bishop LeBlanc. And we got first and goal here for LeBlanc from the one yard line. After the pitch to the outside, Coach Neville wanted an explanation here, saying that he hurtled the defender, and that's technically not allowed in high school football. It's kind of to the ref's discretion. And it's going to be a first down. Coach Neville not happy with the call. Honestly, I hate the rule because I want athletes to be able to be athletes um, with that. And we've got a sideline warning against Greenfield is the official call there. The ref on the far side throwing the flag about 15 feet in the air and – a little arch there with the flag. They're giving the coach another warning here and telling him to have a discussion here between Coach Neville and the officials. And another flag comes out. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Greenfield. Down to the half yard line now. I think they're still arguing there between the the hurdle and the officials. So again, we have a sideline warning and unsportsmanlike conduct already here against Greenfield. So the ball is now at the about 18-inch line, by the 12-inch line here. With that after the half distance to the goal. That was a big play, though. It was fourth down, and he hurdled him. So technically, it should have been a penalty. And like just personally, I don't like the penalty. Um, last week, the kid from Princeton hurdled a North Andrew kid who was standing straight up, pretty much, which is impressive because the kid's like 5'10". But the kid from Princeton, Town Holt's a all-state high jumper there. I mean, I think he cleared like 6'6 last year. So 5'10 was nothing for him. Here, I formation. Tabe runner center. Hand off to Stag. Stag's misses an initial defender and gets in the end zone for the LeBlond touchdown. After all that, we get a six yard, you know, one yard touchdown run for LeBlond. Makes it 20 to 6, pinning the two point conversion coming up next. So LeBlond will go for two. 36 seconds to go in this opening quarter. 20 to 6 lead for LeBlond. Two receivers right, one to the left. Tabor, got to keep it himself, and he's going to be short. Excellent play by Boyd for Greenfield. So we're going to take a timeout here with 35.9 seconds to go in the first quarter. LeBlanc 20, Greenfield 6 here on Missouri 8-Man Football, Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by TNS Butcher Shop at 212 57 Monroe Road, 285 in Paris, Missouri. It's the place to go for your meat needs from deer to hogs to sheep to cows. If you need a butcher in Northeast Missouri, give TNS Butcher Shop a call at 660 327 3244.
And here comes LeBlanc. be kicking off here. Another flag has been thrown on the far sideline with Greenfield during that timeout after the change of possession. And I believe Coach Neville might have been ejected here. Unsportsmanlike conduct. And he has been ejected. So Coach Neville has been ejected from this game for Greenfield here in the first quarter. And you can see him walking off the field here. Coach Davis wanting a little explanation. I think Coach Davis said he didn't want him kicked out because I know Coach Davis talking before the game that it's something that he didn't want him to be kicked out for because I know <laughs> coaches like that just want their colleagues to be treated fairly on there. So as Coach Neville leaves the field, uh, there's a little bit of discussion here. Again, we've got 36 seconds to go in this first quarter. 20-6 to six lead for LeBlanc over Greenfield. As more discussions, we're just going to take a pause here until we get ready for the kickoff. All right, so we're going to have the kickoff coming here for LeBlanc after the quick timeout. It'll be kicking off from the Greenfield 35-yard line. So, after all of that, I think we're having more discussions here just between everyone to see kind of what's happening. Luke Hart kicks it. One-handed, and it'll be taking a knee by Andrew Mays. Just going to kneel it down. Coach Neville is walking up and out of the stands. Be first and 10 here for Greenfield at the 12-yard line. As that was a interesting exchange on there. The same crew that was at Bramer Southwest Livingston last night. First and ten from the left hash here. Shotgun for Greenfield. And Pickett run right up the middle. Gets up to about the 19-yard line. Second down and three. That might be the last play. They might get another playoff here. 15 seconds remaining here in the first quarter. Greenfield going two receivers to each side. 10 seconds to go in the quarter. Quick pass to Oss to pick it here to the outside across the 20. And he'll get pushed out of bounds by Winklebauer. Samuel Page there in coverage. Up to the 21-yard line. Gain of two. And that will be the end of the first quarter. We'll take a timeout and be back with this third down and one to start the second quarter here on Missouri 8-Man Football, Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Live broadcast is sponsored by Eye Candy Graphic Arts. If you need a graphic designer in the St. Joseph area, give Eye Candy Graphic Arts a call at 816-279-0056 or stop by their offices at 1301 South 58th Street in St. Joseph. They can design you a customized logo today.
This Missouri 8-Man Football Broadcast is brought to you by Napa Auto and Race. Get high-quality auto parts with great customer service at Napa Auto and Race at 3908 Frederick Avenue in St. Joseph. Or give Napa a call at 816-232-7373. And here we go, shotgun here for Greenfield, third down and one. Pickett, back to pass, looking to escape here. Gets wrapped up by Anderson, but he's going to lean forward, be close to a first down. See what the official call is here. They're saying it is a first down. So first down, Greenfield there on third and one. It's a nice run there by Austin Pickett as he gets up to the 23-yard line, gain of two. First down and ten. And a fumble here will be recovered by McGuire. McGuire trying to reverse field. He's going to lose a couple. So McGuire with the carry there for Greenfield. Anderson with the tackle back to the 17-yard line. Second down and long. Pickett, keeper, and runs into an initial LeBlanc defender. He's going to fall forward near to the 20. Quick pass to the right side here. Set the screen up to pick it. He'd be taken down pretty quickly there by Tabor. And Hessel there on the stop as he gets up to the 23-yard line, gain of three. So bring up fourth down and ten. And, yeah, in the comments here, uh, John, uh, I know Coach Davis pretty personally on there. I think he was going to bat for his, for his colleague there um, on that and kind of – with that, but there's only so much you can do. So, punt away here by Greenfield, taken by Ike at about the 27 yard line. Ike gonna try to reverse field. Flag comes out near the 30. Ike still running, and he'll be dropped near midfield. But a flag coming out right in the area of holding or a block in the back. Should be a spot foul. So we should be going back to around the 19-yard line after the block in the back. So first and 10 for LeBlanc at the 19-yard line. So 20 to 6, LeBlanc here from their own 19. Two receivers right, one to the left. Three man front for Greenfield. Tabor looking for the deep ball. Right side for Winkle Bauer. It's going to be caught at the 30. Another 25 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, LeBlanc. That's a 61 yard touchdown pass from Tabor to Winkle Bauer. Their second connection of the game. And that's a touchdown for LeBlanc. A long touchdown there for the Golden Eagles. And LeBlanc's going to open up a 26-6 lead on Greenfield. Two-point try coming up here for LeBlanc. Two receivers, receivers to east side. 
It's going to be reversed here for Segrist. Has a lot of running room on the left side, and he's going to go all the way into the end zone and a touchdown. Two-point conversion is good. Tackled right there at the goal line there by Mays. But Segrist in for the two-point conversion. So two-point conversion is good. It makes it 28-6. to six. LeBlond over Greenfield here on Missouri 8-Man Football. Facebook Live with 9.30 to go in the first quarter. This Missouri 8-Man Football broadcast is brought to you by Napa Auto and Race. Get high-quality auto parts with great customer service at Napa Auto and Race at 3908 Frederick Avenue in St. Joseph. Or give Napa a call at 816-232-7373. As we're back here in St. Joe, I want to remind everybody in the comments there that if you guys see um, those spam bots, just let me know and I'll try to block them as much as possible. Oh, there's blocked three of them here already in the first 45 minutes of this broadcast. The kick deep here. Be fair caught near the 26-yard line by Drake Morrison. First down from the 24-yard line coming up here for Greenfield. Off-balance line here. Pickett's going to roll to his right, going to bounce back inside, going to get across the 25 up to about the 26-yard line. Second down and eight coming up here for Greenfield. So pick it with the carry there for Greenfield across the 30 up to the 31-yard line. Gain of five on the play. Third down and three coming up for Wildcats. Hand off to McGuire trying to get to the edge, and he's going to get wrapped up right away. Ike's the first one to get a hold of him. Brought down by a couple other Eagles. I saw Nick Daisy on the play along with Anderson and Hessel. Nowhere to go there for Nash. McGuire going to lose the yard back to the 30. 8.15 to go in this first half. Fourth down coming up here for Greenfield. Overload to the left side. Pick it. Back to pass. Looking for the flat. Has McGuire. He's going to make the catch. Get to the 40. Knocked out of bounds by Anderson. But it's going to be a first down for Greenfield after the quick pass to Nash McGuire. Gets across the 40 up to the 36-yard line of LeBlanc. First down and 10 here for Greenfield. And it's going to be a quick run here for Pickett. Get to the outside of the 25-20. Trying to cut it back up inside. Tacking by Anderson from behind inside the 10-yard line. Down to the 9. First down, Greenfield after the run by Pickett. Anderson with a touchdown saving tackle, gain of 27 on the play, and that's going to be first and goal for Greenfield inside the 10 yard line. And another keeper here for Austin, pick it off the left side. And Finn Sullivan on the stop. Up to the eight-yard line, gain of one. Greenfield moving quickly. Hand off. Left side again, trying to get to the edge. Towards the end zone, knocked out of bounds by Ike. And they're going to mark him down to the one-yard line for Alex Pickett. 
So gain of seven on the play. So this is going to bring up third and goal from the one-yard line. So third and goal from the one. In the shotgun, Pickett can go under center now. And it looked like he was in. They're saying down about the three-inch line. So fourth and goal from inside the one-yard line here. Timeout by Greenfield. We'll take a timeout with them here. 6.43 to go in the first half here. 28-6 lead for LeBlanc. Fourth and goal coming for Greenfield here on Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by the Gatlinburg All-American Bowl and Rising Stars game. The All-American Bowl is for high school seniors, while the Rising Star game is for the underclassmen. Takes place December 15th through the 17th in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. Nominations are preferred to become from coaches and scouts and take place between October 2nd and November 13th. All games are streamed for free on YouTube through 8-Man Extreme, and the National Scouting Report will have a scout on site. Great opportunity for high school players from Missouri to show their talents against the best players from Tennessee here at the Gatlinburg All-American Bowl in Rising Star. Fourth and gold here for Greenfield. Going to go into the end zone. Touchdown, Pickett. He's able to get into the end zone for the touchdown. From one yard out, about a half a yard out, that makes it 28-12 to 12 here. LeBlanc over Greenfield paying the two-point conversion. Warm outside. Well, it's 56 degrees outside, but I am here in this nice press box here in Bishop LeBlanc, so I am nice and toasty. I'm wearing a, a T-shirt. I feel pretty pretty cozy right now. Um, <laughs> nice little slight breeze down on the field. Nothing too bad here at LeBlanc, down this little valley. Pickett is going to roll to his left, looking across the middle of the field. It's going to be intercepted by Seager's. Like ball hit the ground, so two-point conversion is no good. We'll take a timeout here. 28-12 to lead for LeBlanc over Greenfield. 6.42 to go in the first half here on Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is sponsored by Brink Sportswear, providing high-quality, sublimated sports uniforms and apparel at a fraction of the price. Contact Coach Logan Foster today at Brink Sportswear on Twitter or Facebook and discover the Brink difference. And we are back here. Kickoff coming up here from Greenfield. 6.42 to go here in the first half. 28-12 lead for LeBlanc over the Wildcats. Three and a half hour trip this morning north for Greenfield. Talked to Coach Neville before the game, and they left at 7 a.m. this morning to get up here to St. Joe. I am not wearing a Swifties t-shirt. This is my Missouri 8-man football polo. On second attempt is going to be recovered by Greenfield. Looks like Winklebauer, no, Ike with the recovery. Be first and ten for LeBlanc at their own 39-yard line. So again, 28 to 12 here between LeBlanc and Greenfield. Also, an update for Northwest Missouri State and Missouri Western playing today in Division II football, tied up at 10. Right now, early in that one, they gave me playing also here in St. Joe, just down the road at Missouri Western University. Missouri Western State University. Here, a couple of receivers to the right. Tabor looking, looking deep, looking for Segris. It's going to be caught inside the five-yard line. Waiting for the official rule here, I believe, calling. And they're going to say it is a catch here. Segris with the catch down inside the five-yard line. Excellent throw by Tabor. An excellent adjustment there by Jackson Segris. And they're going to mark it down to the four-yard line. Of Greenfield. It's a 37 yard reception there for Segrist. Six and a half to go in the first half. First down and goal for LeBlanc from the four. 
Going to the east end. Three receivers right, one to the left. Tight on the left side. Winkle Bauer. Tabor trying to roll to his right. Gets hit by Boyd. Bounces off of him. Still going to be sacked in the backfield. Excellent play there by Mays. Andrew Mays with a great play there. Tabor with uh, Boyd with the initial coverage. Initial pressure there for Greenfield. Back to the 12-yard line. Loss of eight. Second and goal coming from the 12 now. 5.45 to go. In the quarter. And the half. 28 to 12 lead for LeBlond over Greenfield. One receiver to each side here. Winklebauer staying in the block. Looking left side. Looking for the deep route. And incomplete. A flag comes out. Amazing coverage. Ike there was the intended receiver. Pass interference against the defense. Should be half a distance to the goal. First down, I believe. Pass is incomplete, but pass interference there against the defense. So mark it down to the six. Going to repeat the down here. Run right side down to about the one. Helsa with the carry. Gossett with the stop there down to the two. Third and goal coming up here for LeBlond. Just under five minutes to go. In this first half, LeBlond trying to add on to their lead and get to four and three on the year. I formation. Ike the fullback. Hessel the tailback. Fake the pitch. Counter play back to the fullback and Ike, and he's going to walk into the end zone. Touchdown, LeBlond. Nice little fake, the pitch play, and a counterback with a fullback for a two-yard touchdown run, and LeBlanc goes up 34-12. to 12. We are here in the second quarter here between LeBlanc and Greenfield, 34-12. to 12. Green, LeBlanc looking to add on to their lead. Fifth touchdown of the first half for LeBlanc. Two-point conversion is going to be thwarted. No good. Excellent defense there by Greenfield. Looks like Mays there on the stop initially for Greenfield with a couple of helpers. So, two-point conversion, no good. LeBlanc 34, Greenfield 12 here on Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by St. Joe Bucks Football. Do you want to continue your football career after high school? St. Joe Bucks football is an opportunity to give athletes a second chance after high school football. We thrive to better ourselves as athletes and to better our communities. If you are 18 plus and want to continue your playing the sport you love after high school, contact St. Joe Bucks on Facebook or St.JoeBucks at gmail.com. The 2023 Midwest Region Football Championship team included players from Albany, Slater, Southolt, and Stewart's football. As we are back, your update from the Northwest Missouri Western game. It is 17 to 10 Northwest, five minutes to go in the first half. High kick here. It's going to be fair caught by Mays. Inside the 30 yard line. As Mays snagged it away from freshman Jake Morrison. Mays, a sophomore here for the Wildcats. So first and 10 from the 27 coming up here for Greenfield. 34 to 12 lead for the for the Golden Eagles. Going to be a shift here for Greenfield. A little option play and Pickett's going to keep it himself and Ike is one of the first guys there for Bishop LeBlanc. Ike and Winklebauer on the stop. Not much, maybe two yards there to the 29. Second 
Second down coming up here for Greenfield. Overload to the right side now. Hand off to McGuire to the right side. A flag comes out. Illegal shift by Greenfield is the call. Yeah, mark it back to the 24-yard line. Second down long coming up here for Greenfield. They're going to shift again, overloaded to the left side. A little option play. Pickett's going to keep it himself and get out of bounds. Push out of bounds near the 30-yard line. Winklebauer on the stop. Gets up to the 30. Gain of six in the play. Third down and eight coming up here for the Wildcats. Two receivers to each side here. Pickett looking quick pass to McGuire and incomplete through his hands. I don't know how much he would have got there anyways with Stags bearing down on him. This will bring up fourth down and eight for Greenfield. Well, they're in punt formation. Gossett gets the punt off, nearly blocked. Going to go out of bounds near the 27-yard line. Ball at the 26-yard line, first down and 10, coming up here for LeBlanc. Also, if you like Division II football, uh, today is number four, Grand Valley State, hosting number one, Ferris State. Probably the game of the year in the regular season in Division II football. But also just down the road, Northwest and Missouri Western, 17-10 Northwest with five minutes to go in the first half. Also, Pitt State playing Missouri Southern today in Joplin. Tabor, back to pass, looking for a screen over the middle to Ike, caught behind the line of scrimmage. And he's got a stiff arm and get out of bounds. So still moving his feet. Carries Gossett and a couple of defenders with him to about the 35-yard line. And we'll see here. Ball is spot out of the 36-yard line. It's going to be enough for a first down. Gain of 10 there. So first and 10 here for LeBlanc. Two and a half to go here in the first half. 34-12 to 12 lead for LeBlanc. Trying to add on to their lead here in the first half. Greenfield will get the ball first to start the second half. Receiver each side. Winklebauer the tight end. Winklebauer going deep, looking for Winklebauer. Ball slightly underthrown, making a caught at the 15. 10, 5. Winklebauer, his third touchdown of the first half. This in the seam round up the, up the hashes. And that's going to be a 44-yard touchdown pass. As Winklebauer having himself a game here for Bishop LeBlond. Tabor, 266 yards and four touchdowns on 15, on 15 attempts here in the first half. Winklebauer, four catches, 167 yards, and three touchdowns here in the first half for Bishop LeBlond. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. Ike by himself on the right, left side. Stags in the backfield with Tabor. Tabor. Throws it quickly to Winklebauer and incomplete, saying it hit the ground. Two-point conversion is no good. And that will be no good on two-point conversion. Makes it 40-12, to LeBlanc over Greenfield here with two minutes to go in the first half of Missouri 8-Man Football, Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football broadcast is brought to you by Finney Construction in Skidmore, Missouri. 
Finney Construction is your go-to place to buy, service, and install wood, propane, or natural gas boilers, as well as on-demand water heaters and radiant heating supplies. Give Matt Finney a call today at 816-383-1385 or visit their website at sunriseheatingboilers.com. Luke Hart to kick here for LeBlond. McGuire back deep, and it's going to be a high kick. Taken by Greenfield inside the 30-yard line. Nice little return there by Drake Morrison for the Wildcats. Be first and 10 at the 31-yard line here for Greenfield. Two minutes to go in the first half. Overload formation here for Greenfield. And Pickett's going to keep it himself. Get forward up to the 34-yard line. Gain of three on the play. Pick it. Back to pass. Looking deep. And intercepted. Looking for Gossett. Samuel Page on the interception there for Bishop LeBlond. Trying to go deep to Gossett. He's going to catch the interception at the 14-yard line of Bishop LeBlond. So first and 10 here for the Golden Eagles, their own 14-yard line with time to work here. 127 to go in the first half. We'll see how aggressive LeBlanc here is with a 40-12 to lead here before halftime. Greenfield gets the ball first to start the second half. Receiver to each side, going to bring Seacrest in motion. Tabor, back to pass, looking for Seager. He's going to catch it at the 25 to the 30 and gets shoved out of bounds by three Wildcats. See McGuire, Morrison, and Pickett over there on the stop. Gets up to the 36-yard line. So up to the LeBlanc 36, gain a 22 on the play. And this will bring up first down and 10 for Bishop LeBlanc. So first and 10 here for LeBlanc near midfield. Tabor in the shotgun and receiver to each side. Winklebauer the tight end on the right side. And try to set a screen up for Winklebauer. He's going to make the catch near the 40. Gets it to the outside. Runs over to the defender and goes out of bounds near the Greenfield 30-yard line. As that was Pickett there on the stop for Greenfield. He paid the price there for it. Another first down here for LeBlanc, caught at the 30-yard line of Greenfield. Gain of 14, enough for another first down here for LeBlanc. 1.06 to go in the first half. Clock stops going out of bounds. Ike split up to the left. Seegers to the right. We can borrow the tight end on the right side. Stags to the left of Tabor in the shotgun. Three-man rush for Greenfield. Tabor, time to throw. Looking for the flat for Ike. He's going to make the catch. Incomplete that the ball came out. Mays in the covers that time for Greenfield. This will bring up a second down and 10 with 49 seconds remaining here in the first half. LeBlanc up 40 to 12 here in the second quarter. Ike in the wing on the left side. Seeger split out to the right. Play action. Tabor rolls to his right. Looking deep. Looking for Segrist. It's going to be caught. 
It's going to be caught inside the five-yard line here by Jackson Seagrass. Heck of a catch. Down to the two. Twenty-eight yard reception by Segrist, and LeBlanc has first and goal from the two-yard line with thirty-eight seconds remaining here in the first half with two timeouts. So anything in the playbook is available here for the Golden Eagles. LeBlanc comes out, a little bit of overload offensive line. Handoff. Nope. Stag. It's going to be a pass to Ike. Ike dives for the pylon. He is in for the touchdown. That is the touchdown for LeBlanc. Touchdown, LeBlanc there. They were out of the two-yard line there on the pass to Segrist. That's a touchdown pass to Trey, Trey Ike. Made it 46-12. to 12. So 46-12 to 12 here, LeBlanc over Greenfield. Two-point try now coming for the Golden Eagles. With 31.9 seconds remaining from the three-yard line here for the two-point try. One receiver split out to the left. Ike in the backfield with Staggs next to Tabor. Looking for Ike again, gets the catch, and jukes another man. He'll be in for the two-point conversion. So another touchdown there for the Golden Eagles, 48-12. to If you take a timeout, be back with the kickoff coming up next here on Missouri Man Football, Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by Cotton Body Shop, LLC. Complete collision repair and restoration at 204 West Georgia Street in Oregon, Missouri. The Cotton Body Shop has served the Oregon community since 1961. Everything from diamond paints, aluminum body repair, unibody and frame repair, and pro spot spot welding. Call Troy Cotton today at 660 660- 446-2008 or check them out online at cottonbodyshopllc.com McGuire back deep for Greenfield Luke Hart to kick off here for Bishop Blonde. It's going to be a high kick taken by Gossett inside the 20 trying to get to the outside stiff from the defender and eventually gets still going didn't go out of bounds yet and finally Tackled near midfield with 24 seconds remaining in the first half. So nice return there by Gossett. Luke Hart on the stop there. The kicker with the tackle. Gets up to the LeBlanc 39-yard line, it looks like. So first down and 10. Also another update from just across town at Spratt Stadium. Northwest Missouri State 24, Missouri Western 10. 137 to go in the first half. Another touchdown pass for Mike Hohensey. This time to Griffin. Shotgun here for the Wildcats. They're going to shift again. Gossett's going to be split out. Two receivers each side now. Quick pass. It was a guard eligible to Boyd. Going to make the catch inside the 35 down to the 31. A little guard eligible play there for Greenfield. Gets up to the 31 yard line of Greenfield. We're just going to have a blonde. Let's keep it here real quick after the timeout. I believe Greenfield has just one timeout remaining. And that LeBlond has all three. 14.4 seconds remaining in the first half. 48 to 12 lead here for LeBlanc. Again, some of the games for next week we're looking at as well. It could be interesting. They could go back and forth. Uh, Hughesville at Norman Harden Central should be a fun game. Um, 
This Greenfield team plays at Osceola next week. Drexel at St. Paul Lutheran's a fun game. St. Joe Christian at Stanbury could be interesting as well. And again, next Saturday, we will have Paris and College Heights playing in Hughesville for that one. So some more interesting games coming up here down the stretch. Uh, once we get to halftime, take a little bit of time out here and just run through some ads and get you guys going here for the second half. But here, late second quarter, 14 seconds to go. Greenfield with the ball. Second down. Pick it. Back to pass. And he's going to be sacked. Excellent play there by Nick Days. So Days there on the stop. Ace Battery also on the stop. Back to the 35-yard line. We'll just keep it here just for the last play of the first half. 6.6 .6 seconds to go in the first half. This should be the last play depending on the defensive penalty. Update in the Pitt State-Missouri Southern game. Pitt State leads 7-0 in the first quarter over the rivals in Joplin. Also, Grand Valley State leading Ferris State 7-0. As Grand Valley, their first play offense, they threw a deep bomb for a 36-yard touchdown to take a lead over Ferris. Also, Fort Hayes up 17-0 on Nebraska Kearney. Here goes Greenfield. Last play of the first half here, most likely. 6.6 .6 seconds remaining, and yeah, we're going to have a false start. So, false start, the entire offensive line. Back to midfield. We'll repeat third down, so it's third and 11 here from midfield. Suns has been a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in St. Joe for this Bishop Long Greenfield game. Pick it. Going to throw it deep down the right sideline. It's going to be intercepted by Ike. Ike going to try to return it here from the 10-yard line. Down to the 20, to the 30, trying to reverse field. And to the 35, now to the 40, and... I think he's just going to give himself up there at that point. So a return there for LeBlanc, but the interception by Ike. And that will be the end of the first half with Bishop LeBlanc up 48-12 to on Greenfield. We'll take a timeout and be back with a halftime show here in just a little bit. We've got a 20-minute halftime, so you have plenty of time to burn here at the half. Here from Missouri 8-Man Football, Facebook Live.
This Missouri eight-man football Facebook Live broadcast is sponsored by Brink Sportswear, providing high-quality, sublimated sports uniforms and apparel at a fraction of the price. Contact Coach Logan Foster today at Brink Sportswear on Twitter or Facebook and discover the Brink difference. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by St. Joe Bucks Football. Do you want to continue your football career after high school? St. Joe Bucks Football is an opportunity to give athletes a second chance after high school football. We thrive to better ourselves as athletes and to better our communities. If you are 18 plus and want to continue your playing the sport you love after high school, contact St. Joe Bucks on Facebook or St.JoeBucks at gmail.com. The 2023 Midwest Region Football Championship team included players from Albany, Slater, Southolt, and Stewartsville Osborne. This Missouri 8-man football broadcast is brought to you by Finney Construction in Skidmore, Missouri. Finney Construction is your go-to place to buy, service, and install wood, propane, or natural gas boilers, as well as on-demand water heaters and radiant heating supplies. Give Matt Finney a call today at 816-383-1385 or visit their website at sunriseheatingboilers.com. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by the Gatlinburg Black Bear Brawl. It's going to take place August 9th through 11th in 2024. They're looking for candidates in Missouri for this meet-in-the-middle concept to play a prestigious 8-Man program from either Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, or South Carolina. Teams are looking for unique out-of-state matchups between well-regarded programs with a strong finish in 2023 and a good outlook for 2024. If a program is selected, they would not pay any fees to participate. All games are streamed through YouTube through 8-Man Extreme, and the National Scouting Report will have a college scout on site. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by Cotton Body Shop, LLC. Complete collision repair and restoration at 204 West Georgia Street in Oregon, Missouri. The Cotton Body Shop has served the Oregon community since 1961. Everything from diamond paints, aluminum body repair, unibody and frame repair, and pro spot spot welding. Call Troy Cotton today at 660-446-2008 or check them out online at cottonbodyshopllc.com. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by TNS Butcher Shop at 21257 Monroe Road, 285 in Paris, Missouri. It's the place to go for your meat needs from deer to hogs to sheep to cows. If you need a butcher in Northeast Missouri, give TNS Butcher Shop a call at 660-327-3244. This Missouri 8-Man Football Live broadcast is sponsored by Eye Candy Graphic Arts. If you need a graphic designer in the St. Joseph area, give Eye Candy Graphic Arts a call at 816-279-0056 or stop by their offices at 1301 South 58th Street in St. Joseph. They can design you a customized logo today. This Missouri 8-Man Football Broadcast is brought to you by Napa Auto and Race. Get high-quality auto parts with great customer service at Napa Auto and Race at 3908 Frederick Avenue in St. Joseph. Or give Napa a call at 816-232-7373.
And we're back here in St. Joe. Devin Albertson here from Missouri 8-Man Football. Getting ready for the second half between Bishop of Blonde and Greenfield. Bishop of Blonde up 48-12 to here at halftime. And that means we will have a running clock here for the second half, at least a 35-point spread. Kick here. Be taken by Morrison. And he'll get out of bounds across the 30-yard line. First and 10 coming up here for Greenfield. Eidecker with a stop there for Bishop LeBlanc. And it'll be first down and 10 here for Greenfield right at the 31-yard line. So first and ten, a run here off, off the left side. Going to cut it back up the middle. Still pushing the pile across midfield. Excellent run there by Alex Pickett for Greenfield. As he gets across midfield up to the 37-yard line. So first down and ten coming up here for Greenfield. 11-20 to go in this third quarter. Hand out to McGuire off the right side. He'll be taken down in the backfield. Excellent play there by Winklebauer. Nowhere to go there for McGuire. Winklebauer all over him. Be a loss back to the Greenfield 39-yard line. Loss of three on the play. Loss of four. Second down and 14 coming up for the Wildcats. So we are here in the third quarter, 48-12. to LeBlanc over Greenfield. Second down and 14, low snap. Fake to McGuire. Pickett trying to get to the outside and cut it back up, and he is taken down by Finn Sullivan across midfield back to the 39-yard line. So they're across from 139 to the other. Gain a two on the play. Third down and 12 coming up for Greenfield. Shotgun here for the Wildcats. And again, if you heard earlier, Northwest Missouri State leading Missouri Western 24-10 at halftime. Quick pass to the outside. We caught by Gossett near the 30. We'll bring up fourth down and short here for Greenfield. Aber on the stop there for LeBlond. Gain of nine on the play. And this will bring up fourth down and three. Need to get down to the 27 for a first down. Walsh coming in the game here for, sorry, Day's coming in the game for Petrolli. Fourth down and three here for Greenfield. 9.35 to go in the third quarter. And they're going to go offset. Costa is an eligible receiver there on the right side. It is a pass. Looking for Gossett. He's going to make the catch. Dropped it inside the 15-yard line. Seacrest in coverage there. It's going to be a turnover on downs. Had him up the seam. Just couldn't quite reel in the catch. Good design there for Greenfield. Just couldn't quite convert on the first down. So, 9.22 to go in the third quarter. And the clock going to keep rolling here. Running clock here with a 35-point spread. Also an update in Division 2 still. Um, between number 4, Grand Valley State, number 1, Ferris State. They're in Grand Valley. That is a 14-0 lead for the Lakers there on that one over the Bulldogs. But here, we have a 48-12 lead for LeBlanc over Greenfield. First and 10 for LeBlanc with under nine minutes to go in the third quarter. Hand off up the middle to Ike. Ike going to move the pile across the 35, pushing close to the 40. Brought down by Gossett along with Devin Steely. As he gets up to the 39-yard line, gain of nine the play for Greenfield, for, Le for LeBlanc. Second and one coming up for the Golden Eagles. I have two receivers, one out to each side. Ike to the right, Seekers to the left. Bauer is the tight end on the left side. Quick pass out to Staggs. He'll be taken out right away. Excellent field in the open, tackle in the open field by Austin Pickett. Nowhere to go at the time for Staggs. Well defended by Greenfield. Loss back to the 33-yard line. Loss of six in the play. 
Again, Tabor in the first half for LeBlanc threw for 335 yards and five touchdowns. Winklebauer had 181 and three of those scores. Seacrest and Ike both had touchdowns as well. Seacrest over 100 yards on the day. Here, third down and seven for LeBlanc. He gets a midfield for a first down. Tabor, hand off to Staggs. Staggs, left side, trying to spin, get across the 35. Boyd and company for Greenfield are going to stand him up and be up to about the 36, 37 yard line. We'll bring up fourth down. As they're going to mark it at the 36, gain of three on the play. Fourth down and four coming up for Bishop Blount. Fourth down and four come up here for LeBlond at the 36 ball on the left hash. Going to have three receivers to the right side, and one at tight end on the left is Winklebauer. Tabor in the shotgun. Tabor rolling to his right, going to be caught by Ike, and Ike's going to be able to break a tackle initially and get up to the Greenfield 36. It's going to be close initially for a first down, but Ike's able to lunge forward and get across midfield and up to the Greenfield 36-yard line. Needed four, got eight, first down LeBlanc. Yeah, end of the first quarter, Grand Valley leads Ferris State 14-0. And look at a little rain coming down here in St. Joe now. Three receivers to the right. Tabor rolling to his right under pressure, and he'll be taken down. Flag came out late. Tabor down on the play. As Tabor's down on the play, it was Boyd with the sack. We'll say they're going to, if it's a sack, either going to be a sack or let's we'll say if he got rid of it, I'm not sure if it's going to be no flag on the play. See if they're going to rule an incomplete pass or a sack here. He did get rid of it last second, but maybe an after the whistle. So we'll see what the official call is here. As they look at Tabor down the field, we're going to take a timeout and be back with more football coming up next on Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is sponsored by Brink Sportswear, providing high-quality, sublimated sports uniforms and apparel at a fraction of the price. Contact Coach Logan Foster today at Brink Sportswear on Twitter or Facebook and discover the Brink difference. And it's going to be a sack here on the play. So Tabor was hurt on the play, looking at his right shoulder there on the sideline. Hopefully he's okay. Long term for Bishop LeBlanc. Be a loss back to the LeBlanc 36 yard line. Second down and 18. Another stoppage here by the official on the far sideline, side judge. Again, you can see the rain there on the screen. And they forced Joel Hughes to come off the field. His substitution is number 40, who is not on the roster that I have. Seegers with a pitch. Plenty of room to run the left side. Has Ike as a blocker ahead to the 35, to the 30. Down the sideline to the 25, to the 20. And finally pushed out of bounds there by Gossett. That's going to be a first down there for Bishop LeBlanc. That was Tabor back on the field for that one as well. Up to the Greenfield at 19 yard line. Looks like Tabor's going to be okay there for the Golden Eagles. Good news for them. Tabor in the shotgun. Stags to his left. Tabor rolling to his left. He's going to take off now to the 15, down to the 10, because inside of the 5, towards the pilot said he went out of bounds at the 7. And a timeout there, an injured Greenfield player down on the far sideline. We'll take a timeout with them here with 4.43 to go in the third quarter here on Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live. 
This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by St. Joe Bucks Football. Do you want to continue your football career after high school? St. Joe Bucks Football is an opportunity to give athletes a second chance after high school football. We thrive to better ourselves as athletes and to better our communities. If you are 18 plus and want to continue your playing the sport you love after high school, contact St. Joe Bucks on Facebook or St.JoeBucks at gmail.com. The 2023 Midwest Region Football Championship team included players from Albany, Slater, Southold, and Stewartsville Osborne. This Missouri 8-Man Football Broadcast is brought to you by Finney Construction in Skidmore, Missouri. Finney Construction is your go-to place to buy, service, and install wood, propane, or natural gas boilers, as well as on-demand water heaters and radiant heating supplies. Give Matt Finney a call today at 816-383-1385 or visit their website at sunriseheatingboilers.com. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by the Gatlinburg Black Bear Brawl. It's going to take place August 9th through 11th in 2024. They're looking for candidates in Missouri for this meet-in-the-middle concept to play a prestigious 8-Man program from either Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, or South Carolina. Teams are looking for unique out-of-state matchups between well-regarded programs with a strong finish in 2023 and a good outlook for 2024. If a program is selected, they would not pay any fees to participate. All games are streamed through YouTube through 8-Man Extreme, and the National Scouting Report will have a college scout on site. We'll get a number there for the injured Greenfield player in just a minute. They can take it to the far sideline there. Wasn't able to walk off on his own power, so hopefully he'll be okay long-term there for Greenfield. But I uh, just uh, don't want to see anybody get hurt here in the game. So he is being helped to the bench so they can get a better look at him. He's kind of hobbling there on the far sideline. But LeBlanc going to have it first and goal from the seven-yard line. Tabor in the shotgun. Hand off to Ike, and he'll be brought down by a couple of Greenfield players. Fall came out there late, and they blew the whistle dead. Steely on the stop. He was fighting for extra yards. The ball came out late there. They're going to rule his forward progress was stopped. Good break there for the blonde. Tough break for the road team. So no gain on the play to the seven-yard line. We'll bring up second and goal from the seven. LeBlanc breaks the huddle down to three three fifty to go in the third quarter. Again, running clock here in the second half. The thirty-five point spread here at forty-eight to twelve. The thirty-six point spread. Little option play out the stag. Try to get to the outside, and he's going to walk into the end zone for a touchdown for Bishop Blonde. Makes it 54 to 12. Here in the third quarter, clock's going to keep rolling here, or should, with 332. So 54 12 lead. Through two point conversion coming up here for Bishop LeBlanc. Tabor under center. Little wing left. Stags the wing back. Ike the tailback. Pitch out to Ike. Ike with one man to beat. He's going to get into the end zone for the two point conversion. So Stags with a touchdown run. Ike with a two point conversion. 
And LeBlanc extends their lead here in this one. 256-12. to 12. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back to kick off. Coming up next here on Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by Cotton Body Shop, LLC. Complete collision repair and restoration at 204 West Georgia Street in Oregon, Missouri. The Cotton Body Shop has served the Oregon community since 1961. Everything from diamond paints, aluminum body repair, unibody and frame repair, and pro spot spot welding. Call Troy Cotton today at 660-446-2008 or check them out online at cottonbodyshopllc.com. And we are back. Kickoff coming here for LeBlanc up 56-12. to 12. Luke Hart with a high kick. We'll be taken near the 15-yard line by Mays, trying to get to the outside. And he'll be tripped up and taken down near the 30-yard line. So first and 10 coming up here for Greenfield at their own 30-yard line. Aber on the stop there for LeBlanc. 3-10 to go in this third quarter, running clock here in the second half. 56-12 to 12 lead for Bishop LeBlanc. Going to go to four and three on the season. Greenfield's going to fall to two and five. LeBlanc next week will go to Plattsburgh, take on the undefeated Tigers again. Lost to them back last week at home here in, here in St. Joseph, 40 to 34. So could be another good game there in Plattsburgh next week between LeBlanc and Plattsburgh. Fumbled snap and it's recovered by Greenfield and taken back. That's days on the stop. Mays on the carry, I believe. Yeah, Mays on the carry. So a busted play there from the start for Greenfield. And we're going to stop there on the top timeout on the play. So it's going to be just a 21-yard line loss, a nine in that one. We'll just keep it here and kind of go through some scenarios going here with the playoffs starting here in a couple of weeks. 2.15 to go in the third quarter here. For these two teams, we'll start in district number one, Greenfield. They're going to be the four seed in that district. Uh, most likely they're hosting Jasper in the on the last weekend of October. Liberal will take on College Heights that second weekend, and Lockwood will play the winner of Greenfield and Jasper. District 2, Archie will be the one seed. They'll get a bye for the winner of Osceola hosting Rich Hill, and then Drexel will go to Alpland City there in the district semifinals. In district number 3, a lot of things can still happen here as of right now. Concordia and Sweet Springs get a bye. St. Paul Lutheran will host Slater, and Northwest Hughesville will go to Santa Fe. The winner of the Hughesville-Santa Fe game would go to Concordia, and the winner of Lutheran and Slater would go to Sweet Springs here. Second down and long coming up for Greenfield. And we have a little scramble here going to the 30, to the 35, to the 40, up the sideline, and finally out of bounds is Morrison. So I believe that injured Wildcat might be Austin Pickett for Greenfield. Starting quarterback for the Wildcats. A nice little run there by Morrison across midfield up to the LeBlanc 34-yard line. As that's a 25-yard scamper by Drake Morrison. So again, a lot of things happen in District 3 next week with Concordia playing at home versus Sweet Springs. Sweet Springs, they win that game. I think they can get to the one seed. Concordia to be the two, followed by St. Paul at the three seed. Um, so a lot of things can still change in that district depending on what happens between Concordia and Sweet Springs. Morrison under some pressure here. Avoids a couple of guys. Tries to throw it and incomplete. Looking for Mays on the, in the flats. Incomplete. So this will bring up second down and 10 for Greenfield. District number four is pretty much set right now. Bramer will be the one seed and get a bye for the winner of Oric hosting Northland Christian. Norburn Harden Central will be the two seed, and they will host Southwest Livingston there in Harden in the first in the second district semifinals there the first weekend of November. Mays, handoff to the outside, breaks one tackle, and it'll be taken down. Looks like Jackson Cr Cruz on the stop. And it'd be lost the yard back to the 35. So third down and 11 coming up here for Greenfield. It does look like Greenfield has 
So Pickett's not the one hurt because I see both Austin and Alex on the sideline there to come their starters out to kind of get some young guys some playing time here. Love to see that, guys who traveled a long way. Low snap. Morrison still has it, tries to avoid there, and he'll be taken down again by Cruz. Loss of a couple back to the 36-37 yard line. We'll say lost back to one to the 36. And that will be the end of the third quarter here, a fast-moving third quarter. We'll be back with the fourth and final quarter here from St. Joe, Bishop of Blonde 56, Greenfield 12, on Missouri 8-Man Football, Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live broadcast is brought to you by TNS Butcher Shop at 21257 Monroe Road, 285 in Paris, Missouri. It's the place to go for your meat needs from deer to hogs to sheep to cows. If you need a butcher in Northeast Missouri, give TNS Butcher Shop a call at 660-327-3244. We're back here about the start of the fourth quarter. It's going to be fourth down and long coming up here for Greenfield. As they'll be going in the other direction here. They're literally going to punt it away here. So again, that's district number four. Go to the district number five on the right side of the bracket here with St. Joe Christian and LeBlanc's district. Plattsburgh will be the one seed. They will host the winner of Stewartsville, Osborne, and DeKalb. So Greenfield's going to punt here. It's going to be a fake. Mays gets the direct snap, gets up the sideline, and he'll get pushed out of bounds by Austin Lukehart. Two, the fake punt is going to be unsuccessful. And yeah, they're going to mark him out of bounds at the 32. Gain of four there. Needed 12. So first and 10 come up here for LeBlanc. 56-12 lead. Fourth quarter, 11-30 to go in the ball game, running clock. Right now, LeBlanc, before this game was the three seed, they would go to St. Joe Christian just across town here in the first round. With the win, though, they might be able to jump up and be the two seed here. kind of depends on how the point system works there um, between those two teams. But either way, Christian will play LeBlanc in the first round, in the district's uh, semifinals. A couple flags come out here for an offside penalty against Greenfield. So a five-yard penalty. Move it up to the 37-yard line. First and five now. For LeBlond. So either way, LeBlond will play St. Joe Christian in the first round. It just depends if it's going to be here at LeBlond or across town at St. Joe Christian. District number six. That one's pretty much set as well. South Holt the one, Nolly Valley the two. We're both getting buys. East Ashton hosting North Andrew in the first round. Winner of that game playing Nottoway Valley in Burlington here. Right side with the little handoff. And that is Lane Hovey with a carry there for Bishop LeBlond. As he gets across midfield, he's going to get all the way up to the 23-yard line of Greenfield. Big run there for the Golden Eagles. As Hovey's a junior there for LeBlanc. So again, EA hosting North Andrew. Winner of that game plays at Burlington against Nottoway Valley. And then right now, Rockport's the four seed, hosting the five seed, Mound City. Now, last week of October, the winner of that game goes to South Holt. Some things can happen there, but not likely in that district. Uh, there's a chance Mountain City can still jump over Rockport in the points, but I don't see it happening on there. The Mountain City has Stewartsville, and Rockport has Platte Valley last week. Here, quarterback keeper left side going to be breaking the open field to the 15, to the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Bishop LeBlanc. Kissel with the touchdown run. So a 23-yard touchdown run there for Bishop LeBlanc makes it 62-12. to Golden Eagles. Here in the fourth quarter, two-point try and coming up here for LeBlanc, up 50 now. <clears throat> 9.49 to go in the game. So that's district number six. District number seven. Right now with the standings, after this two-point try, we'll go through that as well. Here, run left side. Helsel is going to be in for two. So two-point try is good there for LeBlanc. So two-point conversion is good. Makes it 64-12. to 12. Bishop LeBlanc over Greenfield. While they get ready for the kickoff, back to Greenfield here. We'll go through the rest of District 7 and 8. So 7, a lot of things happening in District 7 so far. So based on the points right now, it goes Worth County at 1, Platte Valley 2, Stanbury 3, Albany 4, Pattonsburg 5, and King City 6. Unfortunately, 
there are a bunch of head-to-head -head flops happening in this district. So Platte Valley flips over Worth County for the one seed. Albany flips over Stanbury for the three. And King City flips over Pattonsburg for the five. So your first-round matchups would be King City at Stanbury for the four-five. The winner of that game going to Platte Valley. And then Stanbury hosting King City. The winner of that game going to Worth County. We know they can go into Platte Valley there in the second round. So a lot of things happening there in District Number 7 due to all the head-to-heads and the points not really matching up there. So a lot of flip-flopping in that district. Here, Luke Hart's kick is going to be taken inside the 20-yard line by Mays. Mays angling to the right side, get across the 30 near the 35-yard line. Nice return there by Mays. Mays From about the 15 to about the 20, about the 30-yard line. We'll get to the 34. So there's a hold there on the play. So it's going to be from the end of the run. Here, so holding against Greenfield. They're just going to decline the penalty and say first and ten. So I like that. Just don't punish the JV offense. Just let it get some reps in here. That's the most important thing here at this point of the game with it being 64-12 to 12, um, with that Coach Davis decline the penalty there for Bishop Blunt. Ball on the right hash. Two receivers to the right, one to the left. This actually is also a guard eligible play. So the left guard right now is eligible. And Morrison rolling out to his left, being chased by a couple defenders. And he'll eventually go out of bounds inside the 35. As he gets across midfield and gets up to the LeBlond 36-yard line. About a 10-yard run there for Drake Morrison, enough for a first down. Also, early in that top five matchup between Grand Valley and Pitt and Ferris State, the defending the two time defending state champions, national champions in Ferris State, down 21 0 in that one. Here, over the middle to Mays, the 10, the 5, touchdown Greenfield. Morrison to Mays, there is a flag down in the backfield, though. Right in the area of a hold. Holding against Greenfield. They're going to. Bring it back here. It'll be a 10-yard penalty from the original line of scrimmage. It's going to wipe off the touchdown. So they're going to mark this back. Should be to the Greenfield 34, I believe. Yep, Greenfield 34. Repeat the down here. Down to 8.31 to go in the ball game. 8.30 to go in the ball game. Two receivers to each side. Morrison rolls to his right. Going to huck it down deep. Has Mays again at the 20. And he dropped it. Going be a big completion there for Greenfield. Mays just couldn't quite bring it in. As Mays was open down the right sideline. Second down and 20 coming up for Greenfield. Eight minutes to go in the ballgame. Come substitutions here for LeBlanc and checking in is Brendan Armez, the freshman. 7.40 to go in the ballgame. Two receivers to each side. Morrison, back to pass, looking over the middle of the field, and incomplete. Looking for number 11, Wade Jones, the sophomore, who's down on the play. A flag did come out. Are they going to call a targeting call here? Personal foul against LeBlond for the hit. Didn't see, I think they just hip checked him. Maybe he was going for the catch to jar the ball loose. Didn't see a whole lot there, but 
A penalty against LeBlanc nonetheless. I guess they're saying defenseless receiver there. Ball up to the 31-yard line of LeBlanc. So, now it's saying second down. Third down. It's third down. I don't know what's happening here. So, Morrison looking deep and incomplete. Knocked away. Last second there by Hovey. So, incomplete pass there. It should be. Yeah, it's going to be fourth down there. So, it's... So, fourth down. Fourth down for the Wildcats. Halftime, Pitt State, Missouri Southern. Pitt State up 14-7 to in Joplin. And, sorry, Grand Valley State now up 35 nothing on Ferris State. Morrison scrambling around, trying to get to the outside. Stays in bounds. Still going inside the 10-yard line and finally down. Good run there by Drake Morrison. Gain of over 20 on the play. Down to the 9-yard line. Gain of 22. First and goal coming up here for Greenfield. Six minutes to go in the ball game. Two receivers to each side here. They got Mays in the shotgun now. Mays going to go to his left, try to get to the outside. Get to the 10, the 5, reaching for the pylon. A flag comes out. Down to the 1, a flag down at the 3-yard line. Right in the area of either a hold or a block in the back, so we'll see what the call is. That was Mays on the touch on the run of the two, waiting for the official call from the White Hat. Personal foul, tripping against Greenfield. So a tripping call there against Greenfield is going to wipe out the run. So they're going to mark this all the way back to the 19-yard line. 10-yard penalty. And they're going to repeat the down this time. So first and goal from the 19. Morris again rolling to his right. Reverses field. Looking for a block. It's a smidge of a block. Looking downfield. Has a man. It's Mays. Inside the 10. Down to the 5. And touchdown Greenfield. Drake Morrison to Andrew Mays for the touchdown. The 19-yard score, and that makes it 64 to 18. A little bit of success there for the young guys for Greenfield. Again, Mays just a sophomore, Morrison a freshman. Yeah, timeout by Greenfield. Let's we'll keep it here to get through this timeout. District number eight haven't got to that yet for the possible playoffs there. Schuyler County, they will most likely be your one seed. North Shelby looking to be your two seed here so far. Princeton is your three. Paris right now is the fourth based on points, and Knox is the fifth. Knox beat Paris head-to-head, -head, so Knox County would host Paris. We are that game going to Schuyler County, then Princeton going to North Shelby on the first weekend of November for the playoffs here. And if I kind of go through there and look at the favorites for each district to get to the state quarterfinals, it would be Lockwood in District 1, Archie in District 2. Concordia is probably the favorite in District 3, but that one's pretty wide open between Concordia, Lutheran, Sweet Springs. Even Hughesville could possibly win that district, so it's a wide open district. Bramer is the favorite in District number 4. As, look like Shelby, North Shelby, as Greenfield gets Shelby Hurd into the game for this two-point conversion. And a stoppage here. Timeout by LeBlanc. And we'll just keep it here again. 
A little confusion there on the field. So Bramer probably the favorite in District Number Four. District Five, Plattsburgh is the favorite, but Lebanon or Saint Joe Christian definitely have a chance there. Plattsburgh is a really good team, but not un unbeatable there in that district. We saw Lebanon only lose by a touchdown just a week ago. They're playing at Plattsburgh next Friday. District Six, South Holt is a pretty heavy favorite in that one. Nauvoo Valley and EA probably the next best two teams there, but South Holt probably the early favorite in District Six. District 7, I'm going to go with Worth County as a favorite. Platte Valley, though, did beat Worth County back in week one by four in Grant City. And then Schuyler County is the favorite again there in District 8. Morrison under center. Hand off to Hurd. Into the end zone for the two-point conversion. Two-point conversion there for Greenfield. Love seeing that. Love seeing Hurd get a touchdown there. The junior for Greenfield gets the two-point conversion to make it 64-20. to 20. Love seeing the sportsmanship there by both teams and just the celebration there for Greenfield on the sideline to get heard in the end zone for a two-point conversion. Love seeing that. Uh, it's one of the best experiences there in high school sports. Um, so when I coached basketball for a year at Nottoway Holt back in the 1920 season, had a kid on my team who was um, on the spectrum a little bit there for him, and we got him into a basketball game on senior night. He was a senior for me, and late in the game, uh, we were trying to get him a shot to get his first points of the year. And he had missed originally the ball, got rebounded right to an East Atchison player, and the EA kid turned around and handed the ball back to um, our kid who'd be able to shoot the layup and make it uh, to get on the board for the first time all year. That was a great thing to see. I'd love to see the sportsmanship like that with these situations. Uh, so well done by Bishop LeBlanc, well done by Greenfield there to get that um, great moment there in a high school career, as you can still see him on the sideline getting dapped up um, over there. So I love seeing that. Um, that's what high school sports, the best of high school sports right there with 5-10 to go in the ball game, 64-20 here, LeBlanc over Greenfield. And Greenfield trying to get all eight guys in the field, and here they do. Mays kick off for the Wildcats. Down inside the 15. And trying to get to the outside. Does get to the edge. The 30 to the 40. And a hit out of bounds. Nice return there by Hovey. For Bishop LeBlanc. He gets across midfield. Be first down and 10 for the Golden Eagles. Seeley on the stop there for LeBlanc. For Greenfield, my mistake. Ball up to the 33-yard line of Greenfield. First and 10 with 4.35 to go in the ball game. Clock going to keep rolling here. Update, Central Missouri playing Northeastern State today. 56-7, to second quarter. And we have some early movement here. It'll be a false start here against the offense. Actually, they're going to call offsides against the defense. So it's like a Greenfield moved early. They're going to confer here. Ball will go up to the 28-yard line. Yep, offsides against the defense. So first and five coming here for LeBlanc in the JV offense. As Christian Anderson rolling out to the right side, trying to get to the edge. Going to have enough to get out of bounds near the 25-yard line. So Christian Anderson, usually just a defense-only player there for LeBlanc. Getting a little bit of carries here on offense to the 25-yard line. <coughs> Seniors here today for LeBlanc. Jackson Segrist. Carson Walsh. Brady Rocha, Ace Pachali are the only seniors here for Christian Anderson's a junior only set on there. So not a whole lot of seniors in this LeBlanc team. They'll be a really good team next year. We're going to have a false start here. Looks like the right side moved a little bit early there. Might got Woolery, the freshman, moving just a bit early for LeBlanc. So a five-yard penalty with the false start. Moves it back to the 30. Three and a half to go in the ball game here. 64 to 20, LeBlanc leading over Greenfield. 
And left side, a lot of room here for Kissel. Going to break one tackle, get inside the 20. Down to the 15. Cuts inside the 10 to the 5 and into the end zone for the LeBlanc touchdown. That's a 30-yard touchdown there for Bishop LeBlanc, and they're going to put up 70 here on senior night here against Greenfield. 70-20 to 20 lead here for Bishop LeBlanc. So down to the three-yard line here for the two-point conversion for Bishop LeBlanc. Kissel going to roll to his right, looking, and it's going to be thrown and dropped there with a two-point conversion. Page couldn't hold on to it. And it's going to make it 70-20, to 3.09 to go in the ball game. Take a quick timeout and be back with the kickoff. Coming up next year on Missouri 8-Man Football Facebook Live. This Missouri 8-Man Football Live broadcast is sponsored by Eye Candy Graphic Arts. If you need a graphic designer in the St. Joseph area, give Eye Candy Graphic Arts a call at 816 279 0056 or stop by their offices at 1301 South 58th Street in St. Joseph. They can design you a customized logo today. And we're back here in St. Joseph for LeBlanc Greenfield, just across town, Northwest Missouri State at Missouri Western State University. Northwest leads 27-17 to going into the fourth quarter in that one. Here, Luke Hart to kick off for Bishop LeBlanc. 50-point lead here for the Golden Eagles. And Mays is going to fake the reverse, going to keep it himself. Go left side, breaking a couple of tackles, and be out near the 30. So Mays on the return. Gets out to about the 29-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 for Greenfield. Might be the last possession of the game with under three minutes to go. Clock keeps rolling here. Two receivers to each side. Morrison, back to pass. Going to chuck it deep, looking for Mays. And it's caught. Andrew Mays with a catch at the side of the 20-yard line. Heck of a catch there by the sophomore. As he gets down, and there is a flag down, though. And it's going to be a hold against Greenfield. I think the whole crowd just kind of like, hey, just let it go a little bit. Let the kids have some fun. But we'll see. It's a penalty there back to the 19-yard line. And we will repeat the down. Here, Morrison keeps it, fumbled it momentarily. So that was Morrison on the run up to the 32-yard line. Pass is incomplete there. And another minute to go in the ball game. So we're down to our last player two in this one. Greenfield huddling up third down and long. Come the line slowly. Down to 45 seconds to go in the ball game. 
And Morrison is just going to take a knee there. So that's going to be the final here in this one. Bishop Blonde defeats Greenfield 40 to 70 to 20 here in this one. So Greenfield, long trip up north here. Got some young guys, some playing time in the second half, and that's going to do it here as Bishop Blonde improves to three and f sorry four and three on the year. They will be at Plattsburgh next week. Greenfield is two and five, and they will be taking on Osceola next week. That game is in Osceola, I believe. Um, on there, yeah, so Greenfield had their senior night two weeks ago, last week. So Greenfield at Osceola again. The next week of games here on Missouri 8-man football. Next week, Thursday night, Mound City at Stewartsville Osborne at 7 o'clock. On Friday, Archie at Liberal, East Ashton at South Holt, Worth County at Princeton, Bishop Blonde at Plattsburgh, Platte Valley at Rockport, Knox County at Bramer, Nottoway Valley at DeKalb, Appleton City at Jasper, Albany at King City, Slater at Schuyler County, Sweet Springs at Concordia for our eight-man game of the week, Northwest Hughesville at Norman Harden Central, Casey East Christian out of Kansas at Northland Christian, Southwest Livingston at North Shelby, Greenfield at Osceola, North Andrew at Pattonsburg, Lockwood at Rich Hill, Drexel at St. Paul Lutheran, Oric at Santa Fe, St. Joe Christian at Stanbury, and on Saturday, our last game of the year for the regular season is Paris versus College Heights in Hughesville. So that's what we're looking at for next week. In the final here, LeBlanc 70, Greenfield 20. Leaders for Greenfield passing. Pickett threw for 87 yards, and Morris threw for 19. Both threw for a touchdown. Rushing, Morris, lead, Morris and leading rusher at 69 yards. Pickett, Aust, Alex had 64 yards. Austin had 32. Receiving, Gossett had 60 yards and a touchdown. Mays had 19 yards and a touchdown. For LeBlanc, Tabor threw for 362 yards and five touchdowns. Rushing, Kissel had 53 yards, Staggs 42, both of those had two touchdowns on the ground. Hovey had 20 yards, Ike had 11, Hessel had 11 as well. Receiving, Winklebauer 5 for 181 and three scores. Seacrest 5 for 148 and a score. And Ike had four receptions for 29 yards and a touchdown there. So that are, is your stats. Run down there, LeBlanc, they had about... 500 yards of total offense here on 23 first downs and about 260 yards of offense and 12 first downs for Greenfield are your final stats. That's the final score here. Thank you guys for watching. That is the conclusion of week number eight. You guys have a great rest of your weekend here. We'll have our, first, our final regular season rankings out on Monday, so only three rankings left. We'll do one for week nine. One before the playoffs start and one after the playoffs. Only three rankings left here from Missouri 8-Man Football. The next one's come out on Monday morning. Until next time, thank you guys a lot for watching here on Missouri 8-Man Football. I'm Devin Albertson signing off.